the pattern of mob morality, kind of tribal in-group, out-group dynamics that are still very much in human society. I drew a lot from the work of a philosopher, René Girard, I guess a philosopher slash anthropologist, and he described the original social problem as being retributive violence, blood feuds, tit-for-tat violence that escalate. So somebody, you know, wrongs somebody else and they or their kin get revenge, but the original party feels that they were in the right, so they get revenge back on them and it just escalates and everybody has to choose sides. Which side are you on? You have to demonstrate that you're not with them, otherwise you're my enemy too. So this sides taking, this violence spreads like a disease until it engulfs the whole society and rips society apart before it even really has a chance to get established. So the ancient solution to this existential crisis was to turn on a scapegoat or a small class of scapegoats, people who were semi-outsiders in society, and for everybody to get together and kill them instead in an act of unifying violence. In the process, also discharging the desire for vengeance, the desire, the the bloodlust, the the desire, we've got to do something about this. We can't just let it slide. So everybody goes and turns on the witch or the Jew or the misfit or the weird kid, the kid in the class that has cooties. Remember, if you touch that kid, you've got cooties too, and you get ostracized. So even if you don't believe in cooties, you're still going to keep your distance from that person. Today, it's the unvaccinated who are getting ostracized, who are getting blamed, you know, scapegoated and so forth. The pattern is you have to find somebody who is in but not of society or make them into somebody who is in but out of society to prepare them for sacrifice. So that basic social dynamic has programmed us really deeply with an instinct to orient toward which, which way is the wind blowing? Who's on the in? Who's, who's on the outs? Who can I associate with? How can I demonstrate my belonging to the good people? You know, in our current age leads to all kinds of virtue signaling and identity politics, and it can be manipulated by governments. You ask, what are these forces that are channeling our psychic energies into conflict? This is one of them. And it makes us very susceptible also to totalitarian control or fascism. All you have to do as a fascist leader is point to the the filth and the scum and the whatever bad people there are that are threatening our society. And then everybody falls into lockstep around that. Or it could be the unvaccinated, or it could be the white supremacists, or it could be the Antifa. Left and right do the same thing here, not aligning with either of these sides. And this is one of those filters. People might be listening. Okay, which side are you on? Is it okay to believe, to listen to what you say, Charles? Because are you one of the good guys or one of the bad guys? Let me figure out if you're one of the good guys or one of the bad guys by decoding the hidden messages in what you are saying. When you said white supremacists, was that with disgust or with a little bit of sarcasm? Which side are you on? Is it okay to be associated with you? That is one of the patterns I'm talking about. And that is almost universal. And if our society is ever going to change for real, we're going to have to transcend that.